On a fire, when assessing a tree for its risk to values or determine whether or not it's a hazard tree, we ask two questions. First question, was this tree compromised beforehand? What was the tree's structural integrity before the fire came around? Was it rotten? Was there already structural defects that it had that would make it compromised here soon? That's something we ask when we're looking at hazard trees in general. Question two is, did the fire alter the tree's structure? And this tree you can see behind me, this tree was already hollowed out and you can see it broke off and there it is laying back there. So the fire altered this tree's structural integrity. This tree was already somewhat compromised. If the fire wouldn't have come through, it would have stayed standing for probably quite a bit longer. But just because a tree was burned doesn't mean it's a hazard. So this tree already had a structural defect before, but it wasn't in such a state that it would cause it to fail anytime soon. In fact, this tree could probably live for another three or 400 years just like this and it may even heal over this wound. But the fire didn't disturb its structure so even though it's right next to the road we're gonna leave it so if we can answer yes to either one of those questions and the tree is within range of protected values we'll call it a hazard tree and then remove it